My name is Mark. Welcome to my home. This is my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. Love this little trailer. My wife and I, um, up to this point, have been using it um, in improved campgrounds, which means that we um, always have had um, sewer connections, and electrical connections. And because of that fact, um, the small battery that's come stock with this guy, um, little 75 amp hour lead acid thing, has been fine. But good news. Good news and bad news, I guess. Good news is, is my son's getting married um, this summer. And he's getting married with his wife. They're really outdoor people like, like my wife and I are. And they're getting married out in the boonies, out in the Cascade Mountains. No connections or no anything. And so we want to spend a few days with them after they're married and you know, during the celebration. We're going to need to boondock a little bit. So that brings me to the point. I am going to upgrade this trailer to include a lithium battery so that we have a little bit more, um, a more room to breathe um, um, for the days that we're going to stay up. So I'm going to put in a lithium battery here. But like anything electrical, there's a right way and there's a, uh, there's a right way and lots of wrong ways to do it. Lots of people have had okay success by just dropping in a lithium battery. Um, and you can do that, but there are some significant drawbacks when you do it. Um, um, it's number one, it's cheap, right? You don't have to do anything else. You just drop it in, but there's all kinds of compromises that have to be made when that, when that happens. So let's go on inside into the trailer. I'll talk to you about how I'm going to do it, um, without compromising. So, okay. So here we are inside. Tic Tac is still in winter storage. It's still getting way cold out there. Um, we actually had a little snow a little, a little bit the other day, but if you're going to do this right, um, the best way to do it is you have to start from the beginning. Um, in the beginning, this is your, um, converter. What it basically does, it connects into street power and it converts 120 volts to 12 volts for usage and also charges your battery. But this is a, uh, a converter made by a company called WFCO. This is a WFCO 8735P, which means that it's, it supplies 35 amps to my trailer for all my um, devices that I plug in here and charges a lead acid battery. It doesn't know how to charge a, uh, a lithium battery. It will charge a lithium battery, but not all the way. And there's some other issues with it. This guy doesn't know anything about bulk charging 
uh, a lithium battery. And if a lithium battery doesn't get bulk charged periodically, the cells can um, lose what's called equalization. If you're interested in that, I'll leave more details in. Um, you can just leave questions and we can talk about um, the downsides of, of using a converter, which was intended to charge a lead acid battery with a lithium battery. But what I did, if we're going to do this right, we're going to start from the beginning, and this is the beginning. The first thing, the first thing you need is you need a converter that can, that knows how to charge a lithium battery. And WCO has a really cool one here. Love this thing. Pull it out. This is an auto detect unit, which means that it has circuitry in here that it automatically detects what kind of battery you have. If I have a lead acid battery, it'll charge that lead acid battery correctly. If I have a lithium battery, it'll detect the lithium battery and it'll charge that battery correctly. If I have a gel type battery, uh, an uh, AGM battery, um, it will detect that and charge that correctly. So this is a universal um, unit. This is, this is a WFCO 8740. This was a WFCO 8735. So I'm going to get a couple of upgrades. What we're going to do is we're going to replace the 35 unit with the 40 unit, I'm, it, which give me a, it'll give me five more amps for devices out here. I can run more, run more things. Um, and it knows how to charge my lithium battery correctly, um, which means that my lithium battery will charge up to 100%, um, that my cells inside that lithium battery will be equalized because this guy does know how to go into a bulk mode charge, which this guy doesn't. Um, the nice feature about this is it is, check this out, it is an exact replacement, exact it has just as many circuits on the front, just as many circuit breakers on the back. It is exactly the same height, width, depth, takes the same, same settings. So what we're going to do today, this is an introduction video I'm doing right now, but inside it's really straightforward. There are color-coded cables here. There's white, yellow, blue, red, green, blah, blah, blah. And the old WCO controller, they are exactly the same. So all I have to do is match color to color here. Pull this one out. There are circuit breakers, um, 120 volt lines. Um, and I just need to pull those out. The only thing that's, that's, that's any difficulty at all, you have to pull out, it doesn't, the new one doesn't come, these are circuit breakers, doesn't come with circuit breakers. So I have to pull those circuit breakers out and put them in these spaces. I, it doesn't come with fuses, so I gotta pull those fuses that I've got out and just one for one swap circuit for circuit. Take the circuit off, put the circuit on, take the circuit off, put the circuit on. And then my trailer will be ready for a lithium battery. I don't, I wouldn't have a lithium battery yet. That's the next thing on, on, on my, uh, on my docket. But when I do put a lithium battery out there, this guy will be 100% ready for it. Piece of cake. So, um, in video number, I'm going to break it here, but in video number two, we're going to show the disassembly of this and the, uh, installation of that and it's really pretty straightforward it couldn't get much easier than that you're going to disconnect these are all the dc cables you're going to disconnect the ac cables and you're going to put them back in exactly where you took them off from um, it's just that simple um, anyway i'll see you in number two where we start the installation on this project see you next time drive safe